Hi, welcome to Car Amster. Today I'll be viewing this VenSense wireless parking sensor. Now when I say wireless, it's completely wireless. There's no sort of cable I'll need to hook up to get this unit working. It came with two lithium-ion batteries that's shaped in double A size. The batteries are in this compartment right over here. So some of the highlights for this item. So it came with the sensor, the, the uh, quick launch button, anti-theft tools, and it, this also works with Android or iOS devices. For your smartphone, it came with this magnetic mount. Two of them actually. One circular, the other one is um, I guess rectangular shape. I already got this on the back of my iPhone XS Max. And these are the tools it came with. Now, when using the tools to either just here, remove the battery or screw on the license plate, do it very slowly because what I found was, let me take this one for example. So this is the tool to open up the compartment for the battery. It doesn't go in all the way. So it's it's just hovering on the edge and I didn't want to strip the screw over here. So I just tilt it a little bit and I turn it very slowly. And same goes for the tool to adjust the sensors and also the, the license plate. Now, the reason they also came with these tools is because if it was just a regular Phillips or a nut, people can steal the sensor. Here's the app. Currently, I don't have the tap button configured for it. I placed the tap button right up here. But if I try to configure it, let me go to add button. Now searching for it, it says if I can't find it, press and hold the tap button for five seconds. So I'm gonna press and hold this for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And it just keeps on scanning. Uh, I did open an item up. It, it's using a button cell battery. And I guess, I guess next thing I can try is start replacing the battery. But that's not really that important because everything works even without the tap button. The tap button's more of an optional function. For the license plate sensor, I can choose to have it placed in the front or the back. I can place it in the front of the vehicle, the front license plate, or the back license plate. Let's go over some of the instruct the uh, examples here. If I did place it in the back, I also need to measure the clearance for the bumper. All right, let me just get out of here. I'm roughly three to four feet from the vehicle in front of me, and now let's head into my vehicle. I'm gonna start driving forward. And head to the home. So head to parking. Well, so moving forward. Now I'm very close to it. I don't want to get too close to the vehicle in front of me. Bring this with me. So this got five bars. So now I'm about two and a half feet from the vehicle in front of me. I'm gonna mute the, mute the sound for a minute. I just want to show the parking sensor here. So I'm gonna start walking towards it from the left side. You see that the left it's getting pretty close. The right side is starting to pick me up. Um, about mm, maybe a foot, maybe less, a little less than a foot away. And move towards this side of the vehicle. So this is a pretty interesting parking sensor. Now, a lot of the parking sensors that come with vehicles, there's four of them. You got one, two, three, four, essentially the ones on each of the corners here. Whereas this one is more of just the uh, directly in front of the vehicle. I wouldn't rely on this to try to avoid objects on the side, like maybe a bicyclist. It's not for that purpose. This is strictly for parking. This is strictly for parking and guiding the distance of the object directly in front or directly behind the vehicle. There are other functions within the, this app, but I don't really find them useful, and especially because I have other apps for it. I'm quite impressed with the sensor. I have seen the ones where it's a camera mounted on the license plate frame, 
but those have a shorter battery life whereas this one is just sensor the battery life is rated for five months and I think it's well worth it for vehicles such as this one where I don't have front parking sensor I have rear cameras but for the front I don't have anything I'll recommend checking with your state's motor vehicle department because in some states they don't allow any sort of license plate frames they don't want anything covering their license plate but either case I like this item a lot I will recommend it I'll place the link in the description below all right well thanks for watching this review if you guys have any questions comments suggestions feel free to contact me thanks for watching Oprah Hamster bye